नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू ई लर्नर सब यू आर वॉचिंग क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग ट्यूटोरियल एंड वी आर वॉचिंग द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एज सर्विस यूजिंग विंडोज हाइपर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सो हाउ टू इंस्टॉल विंडोज सर्वर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू इंस्टॉल हाइपर वी फीचर इन विंडोज टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व सर्वर so let's jump to the demonstration so in the last video we completed the installation of windows server 2012 and now we will see how to install hyper v in windows 2012 server so we go to click on manage add roles and features so you will see the add roles and features wizard appearing click on next So the very first option, role-based features. Click next. So if you select the server, so you can have more than one. So if you are connected more than one server to this system, so you will see more than one servers appearing here. Click next, and here we will select the Hyper-V as the feature. Click on Add feature. So now here you can see there is an error. So Hyper-V cannot be installed. A hypervisor is already running. So now here we are installing these uh, hypervisor on the top of VMware Workstation. So VMware Workstation itself acts as a hypervisor, and hence it is not allowing to install you another hypervisor. So now first we will get rid of this error. So we just click on OK and cancel. And now we will shut down this uh, virtual machine. So you can simply shut down the virtual machine by right-clicking here and power and power off, or you can shut down just shut down guest shut down. So to remove to tackle with that error, we need to make a slight change in our settings. So we'll go to Edit Virtual Machine Settings and here. options so in virtual machine settings click on options tab and here you will see the version we have selected the guest operating system as microsoft windows and the version and the version we have windows server 2012 so here we will select hyper v unsupported so now here we are selecting hyper v unsupported and click on okay So by doing this, we are bypassing the hypervisor of VMware Workstation. And now let's power on the virtual machine. Let's enter the full screen mode. Let's log in to the server. feature of windows server 2012 if the system has shut down unexpectedly it will ask you for the reason why the system was shut down and just say okay here yeah, and click on okay now we go to manage you can either click on manage and click on add roles and features or you can simply click here directly on add roles and features So again, you will see the add roles and features wizard has opened. Click next. Role based or feature based installation. Click next. Select the server. So it's already selected. So if you have more than one server displayed here, then you need to select the server in which you have to enable the hypervisor. Click next. Here we select the hyper-v and add features. Click on add features. now you will see that the error has gone so earlier when we try to add the hyper v it it displayed an error so now the error has we have got rid of the error click next 
so we select the dotted frame of 3.5 and click next so in hyper-v we need to provide the virtual switches so we select the internet 0 click next migrations so what type of migration you want to use so allow this server to send and receive live migrations Live migrations play a very important role in cloud. So whenever we want to migrate a virtual machine from one server to another, so there we can do this. So migration is very important aspect in cloud computing. Then click next. So these are the this is the path where your virtual hard disks and virtual machines will get stored. Then click next and finally click on install so the, if the installation is successful you will see the success message here otherwise it will throw an error in case of any problem faced So the installation has completed so it will restart the system again click on close so here you can see a notification that tells you that the restart is pending so you need to restart your server so we we'll restart the server again so you can simply type shutdown and you will see turn off your pc so click on power shut down click on power and restart select what is the reason to restart so other plan click on continue So now we go to the tools menu and here you can see the Hyper-V manager, just click on the Hyper-V manager. And this is what we get, the Hyper-V manager. unpin the toolbar so that we can see the entire screen so now this is the hyper-v manager and this is what is our server so currently we don't have any virtual machine created here so otherwise you see the virtual machines that are there on this server here in this area it shows you the checkpoints if you have set some checkpoints to your virtual machines and some more details here on the left right side you can see the import virtual machine so if you want to import a virtual machine from any other system to this system we use this feature import virtual machine then you can have the hyper-v settings so you can see what are the what where, where you want to store the virtual hard disk where you want to store the virtual machines so you can make the settings that are required for the hypervisor 
you can also implement the live migration settings how you want to enable the live migrations keyboard mouse and so on so you can make all the settings that are required for your server from here then we have virtual switch manager so virtual switch is basically the switch that is required to connect the virtual machines now when you are creating virtual machines in windows uh, hyper-v manager if you want to make communications between these virtual machines so you need a switch as we need a switch in physical network similarly here we need a switch so that we can connect all the virtual machines here and have the communication uh, started between these virtual machines then we have virtual SAN manager the SAN stands for storage area network so if you want to store the data in storage area network so you can create a SAN here storage area network so that all the data associated with this virtual machine will go to the SAN you can edit the disks if you want to expand or you want to modify the disk settings virtual hard disk settings you can modify this here inspect the disk you can stop the service you can remove the server so this is all what you can do with respect to the server so these are the settings that are associated with respect to the server then you can create a virtual machine you can create a disk you can create a floppy disk so you can create a virtual machine by going here in the new on the new uh, menu and click on virtual machine or you can simply right click on your server and click on the new and virtual machine virtual machine so you'll see the new virtual machine wizard appears and click on next give some name to the virtual machine so as we did this in uh, VMware ESXi server so we'll create a Windows 7 virtual machine here so if you want to change the location of the virtual machine you can change the location or you can select the default location that is there that is suggested by the system then click next so we need to select the generation of virtual machines so which generation of virtual machine we are using so you can go through this description the virtual machine generation provides the same virtual hardware to the virtual machine as in the previous version of hyper-v the virtual machine generation provides support for features such as secure boot, scuzzy boot, PXC boot so let's select the first one then click next what is the memory that you want to assign to this virtual machine so as we are selecting we are creating a windows 7 virtual machine it will take 2 gb of memory so just simply select this 2 gb of memory click next so how do you want to use the networking so do you want to use the network or not so you can select the networking feature here then click next what is the virtual disk associated with this virtual machine so you can select the virtual disk and the amount of space that you want to allot to this virtual machine so currently we have you can you can select maximum 64 db of space provided that your base machine that is your windows uh, windows 10 that is your base machine has that much amount of memory otherwise windows hypervisor supports 64 terabytes of memory but here we have allotted only 60 gb of space to our windows server so we can we we'll choose less than that so 40 gb of space and click next if you already have any uh, virtual disk with you you can select the existing virtual disk or you can attach a virtual disk later after the after the uh, creation of the virtual machine then click next so whether you want to install the operating system later or you want to assign the uh, ISO file that is the image file now so you can select various options as per your need so here we select install the operating system later and click next it shows you the summary and click on finish so it's 
configuring the virtual machine so now here you can see the virtual machine that we have created here is available and if you want to deal with the virtual machine then we click on the virtual machine and here you can see the settings associated with your virtual machine so when you click on the server you will see all the settings available here if you want to work with the virtual machine setting you click here and you see the settings so now we have not assigned the ISO file so you click on settings and click on the DVD, DVD drive and here you select the image file so you need to have stored a uh, image file in the windows server so right now we don't have that if you have a physical disk you can select a drive place the drive in your uh, machines dvd drive and you can select the physical disk but if you don't have the physical disk and if you have an image file that is the iso file you can select the iso file from here for, but for that you need to have the iso file in your windows server machine so here we don't have that so we try to copy the iso file into the windows server system so here's the ISO file that I have copied here. This is the Windows 7 ISO file. So we have created a Windows 7 virtual machine on Windows uh, Hyper-V Manager. So this is the virtual machine that we have created. So let's see how to assign the ISO file to this virtual machine. So let's move to the full screen mode. So this is the full screen mode. Now here you can see the virtual machine that we have created and you can see all the settings related to the virtual machine on the bottom right here so now we will assign the iso file to this virtual machine so click on settings so you'll see the settings for this virtual machine Please click on id controller dvd drive and now here we need to select the image file that we had just copied so in the image click on the image file that you it shows you the option to select the image file click on browse and uh, you'll go to the C drive of your server and click on Windows 7 the ISO file that we have copied now and click on open and apply and OK so now we are we have assigned the ISO file to this virtual machine and now we can start the installation so for that you need to start it, this virtual machine so right click on this and click on start or you can simply select the virtual machine and on the bottom right you can see the menu click on start so once you click on start you will see the console here appearing the system is starting and you can see the uh, status here the CPU utilization the memory assigned what is the uptime so what is the time that uh, the virtual machine started and you can see the uh, what is happening in this console you can expand this console by clicking on the connect on the right side here or you can simply right click on the virtual machine and click on connect so on clicking connect you will see a new window appears and this is the virtual machine window so we have installed windows 7 on windows 2012 and this is the setup that has started so you can complete the installation and use the Windows 7 machine as you use normally on your desktop. So this is the virtual machine. This is how we create a virtual machine in Windows Hyper-V Manager. You can stop this virtual machine by clicking on the shutdown or you can turn off this virtual machine. So you can click on the turn off. This will turn off the virtual machine and you can close this console. So this is how uh, in this practical we saw the installation of Windows 2012 server and we added the feature Hyper-V manager feature and we created a virtual machine in the Hyper-V manager. So if you have liked the video click on the like button and share your views and suggestions by writing in the comment section and encourage us by subscribing to our channel and please do not forget to click on the alert bell so that 
you will remain updated with all our new upcoming videos on our channel so see you in the next video with a new topic till then take care thank you